Welcome to the Roundtable Podcast, guys. We're back, guys. And yeah, you might be watching this one on a Wednesday or a Tuesday or a Friday. We don't know. Uh, but guys, this is our first uh, uh, time we're doing it this way where we're doing it uh, post-production. Uh, uh, you know, and we wanted to do it this way so that we could uh, play more videos for you guys, get more pods out. Uh, for you guys, and we hoping that this uh, be something that can turn out to be a, a good thing, right? Uh, 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 during the week, and uh, so that you guys, look, we'll be in your house even more than just on Saturday, Sundays. Sundays right? We've been in your house <laughs> all week, right? That's You'll right. be in your house all week. You don't have. <laughs> you can tune in to us. You can watch this one on uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. You can still watch this one on uh, uh, Facebook. Facebook. Uh, you can watch this uh, on on uh, uh, oh, all the we're from all one, the you probably got to click YouTube. RW3N uh, Jasmine, but uh, uh, yeah, but you can our watch website. this on our website, guys. Again, this is our first time doing it this way, but uh, I don't know if we we don't have any guests just on this first one, do we? No, no. no. Okay, we just just a basic note. With no, I said this. One, so this is our first one, but guys. Uh, uh, but yeah, anyway. So, Let's get into the topic. We can go ahead and get into the topic. Of, yeah, uh, so this in one. this top, top, topic, we're gonna be discussing the stimulus money is making people go crazy. So we, we, need, we, need, we need, what? the we stimulus need. money make people go crazy. So oh, let's see what's going on. We're gonna play a video. Why did y'all put why y'all put lovely tea picture up there? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's right. Our producer oh. gonna play the video. Of course. So, so while we waiting on the producer to play the video, guys, we definitely what? want you to uh, have the have what's been going on, guys. What the stimulus mm -hmm. checks for you? You know, uh, we know that there's so. I mean, we get it. Everybody's looking to get money. You know, we we understand everybody's looking to get a payday. You know what I mean? And uh, uh but mm -hmm. is it? Enough money that you want to go out and just, or go up somebody's head yeah, because of the stimulus or kill them. A kill them. Yeah. Let me tell you, it's real talk. I, I have I was having a conversation with Lovely T actually early today. She was out and about. Hold on. You know I was talking to you. Her and her buddy was out there spending money, stimulus. I heard loud. Her friend getting loud and everything. There's like that stimulus. She had to get up the phone. Y'all Lovely T had to get up. Hold on, Lovely T. What? Yes or no? When I was talking to you, was you out shopping? Yes or no? <laughs> no and comment. Did, did your friend in the background get to fussing about you <laughs> communicating with me? Uh, oh, no, they was out no there. No comment. I her. They was out there. I said, let me get off the phone right now because you ain't gonna make it to the podcast. So let me get off the phone. Wow. Wow. Well, I, mean, well, I mean, but you know. All right. <clears throat> is it enough that we we'll want to hurt other people? Yeah, <clears throat> because of a stimulus check. Uh, all right, come on, uh, producer. Let's get people. this going. Let's play this oh, video. Okay, all right. And that left four people dead, including a seven-year-old girl. Investigators now say a domestic situation stemming from an argument over a federal stimulus check may have led to that gunfire. Police say Malik Halfacre shot and wounded the mother of his child and killed four members of her family Saturday night at a home on North Randolph Street. Court documents out today allege that Halfacre has demanded part of the wounded woman's stimulus check during an argument they were having. Halfacre was later arrested after SWAT officers found him hiding in the attic of a friend's house. I mean, and that's just one, guys. That's just one. It's another one. That, that was RW3 on the phone. He was threatening. Another uh, second one. Line up the second one, producer, yeah. so we can get that one going on as well. Yeah. But guys, listen, we talk about mental health, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need some, you got some problems when you want to take out the whole family because of yeah. a $1,400 check. check. Now, oh, wow. granted, it might have been a little more if she had multiple kids. Well, yeah, right. Well, he had a child with her. He had one child. That could have gave her. reason why he felt he does, 
he deserved some what, of that. Seven, what seven hundred dollars? Right. He seven hundred. I mean, yeah, okay, if you right, so let's break it down like that. It, we ain't even talking fourteen hundred. We talking maybe seven hundred. Right. Because well, because he, he only get four fifty. He offered four fifty or something. I think he want. He said he said he wanted half. Half. Yep. That half is seven hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, Fourteen. You know what I mean? Because he and only had one child by the girl. By her. She said, "You ain't doing nothing. You ain't taking. You lucky I'm giving you that." Well, should 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 she have gotten for should should he have gotten some money out of that? Hey, not, no, not if he was a, 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 was a negligent absent dad. Dad B. Dad Well, we don't know that. Right. We, we don't, don't know I, that. That's it. If that's why I put the qualifier. If. He was a deadbeat dad. Right. He didn't know. She and, communicated and, and, the way she was talking. You know, when you read it, she was talking as if he was. That's just her side of it. Oh, she was talking about this? Yeah, she said she's there taking care of the kids. He ain't doing nothing. That's what I read. Before, but I thought yeah. she was dead. No, it said before. Oh, <laughs> before I she said, she, I No, I she think she said, I thought she survived. Maybe. She survived. Maybe. Oh, she was one. She survived. Yeah, she, survived. she got injured. Oh, she I got thought... injured. Oh, okay. And, 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 his, and his child. A little kid. Mm -hmm. All of them got killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay, so hold on. So how many people died in this? Well, we, we had the story. I think it was four. I think four people got killed. And the only person he didn't touch was his child. His child. Right. And the woman, she she you know was injured but not killed. So mother, she auntie, survived. brother, and a a, a a child, four mm -hmm. people. So what do you think? What do wow. you think happened? I mean, I know we wasn't there, obviously, mm -hmm. but what do you think happened that would make him want to kill the other people, like the auntie, a child? I mean. What would be the reason that he would is it because he so shot one and by them all being there, yeah, he didn't want nobody. He yeah, because no he said I read what's crazy. They said, I guess when he was there in the house, he started trying to go through her purse. And I think the guy was like, you ain't going to go through her purse. And then I think he shot the guy first. Then somebody called his name, shot somebody else, came back and shot the guy again. And he started shooting folks. Oh, the chain of events. <laughs> it, it just a chain. He just and like, the like part in, about it is, this isn't even a story of she wasn't. She was saying, "No, you're not gonna get nothing." She, she, she said, "I will give you four hundred and fifty dollars." You know, so he could have something, and that still wasn't good enough. Like, but, but, I, and I mean, because I'm like, what does he have a drug? Like, like what is it that you just desperately needed seven? $700 for versus the 454 that it was worth killing somebody. More than one person, too. Now, it, but you know what? If you remember hearing the article, it did say they half. Some, they had some domestic problems. Well, too. but it said half, too. Because if she was working, she got a fourteen hundred dollar check, yeah, right? She was working. So it, the, he won't have of everything. Like we splitting this down the mouth in the middle, oh, whether it was your money he wanted or, or the fourteen hundred. Yeah, I mean, but even but you should if you're working though, mm -hmm. I mean, both parents can get a check. Well, he should have got well, I don't know if he got we don't know if he was working. He right, uh, he probably we don't know if he was working. Come on, you know put that bag. He don't look like he employed nowhere. Well, well, <laughs> well, I'm gonna go on the cuff and say he might not have been working because <laughs> if he that interested in her uh, and the child's money, maybe he wasn't he must. He probably wouldn't get right, no money right, himself. Right, Let's know. look at another one. I want to look at the yeah. other video. Uh it because there is a second half of the video. Uh producer, producer let's get this that one. second link. I mean, I think that this is crazy. It really is that yeah. it has to be in our our people. Yeah. yeah. I mean Kill anybody, of course, but yeah. Yeah, why you do always I be holding your breath like, oh day black. Right. <laughs> Bars tonight charged with arson and attempted murder. Deputies say it was all over a stimulus check. Our Scotty K has the story. Ray Bradford Jr. is being held here at the Spartanburg County Detention Center after Sheriff Chuck Wright says he was the suspect in one of the worst domestic violence cases the sheriff says he's ever seen. This guy right here, I mean, he just looks like a fellow you would see in the store. 
I mean, he didn't he didn't look like somebody that would be doing that stuff, but. You, know, you just never know. Ray Bradford Jr. is accused of slamming his girlfriend to the ground, kicking her, stomping on her neck, and threatening to end her life. I saw the pictures, and this poor lady was, was beaten pretty badly. She got struck with a lamp and a table leg and the guy's fist. Sheriff Chuck Wright says the victim suffered a broken nose and a broken jaw. I've been doing this 35 years. I haven't seen many people beat this bad. After the assault, investigators say Bradford set the house and the victim's car on fire, but they say he didn't stop there. While we were working that scene, the suspect, Mr. Ray Bradford Jr., uh, made his way over to his girlfriend's mother's house uh, and burnt her car. Shortly after, deputies found Bradford walking along Chesney Highway near Maple Tree Lane. I had gasoline in each hand. He had gasoline in a liquor bottle, I think a water bottle. He turned, he opens up the gasoline and threatens to burn the officers and, and himself. With the help of a canine, the officers were able to arrest him without incident. Investigators say Bradford blamed his actions on the government holding his stimulus check due to unpaid child support. Sheriff Wright said had officers not arrested Bradford when they did, the outcome could have been so much worse. So why he go and go? Why they go to the mother house? I just be I'm trying to understand why did you go to the mother house? Because they, they, they this is hold, unbelievable. They, homies talking and they like, well, you know she's gonna get a check. You know this he is like unbelievable. He like, and he probably be like, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go over there and get that. I know she got some money. money. So he like, I mean, cause the old boy saying, yeah, mm -hmm. you better call her up. She gonna, she got, she land, she sitting on probably, you know, you got all them kids over there. <laughs> so she's sitting on about 10,000, 10, 7,000, going over there and get that, get money. Get that so money. So he probably went over there. You right. I'm gonna go I over want there. half of it. I want half of it. And not going to But know. you know what though, guys, I, I mean, I'm, I'm very, I'm being very lighthearted about a very serious uh, two very serious incidents, um, but but I don't think we can we can um, use this stimulus check as an excuse for domestic violence. Like this was an opportunity, like this was a a, a thing for them to use to exert their power and control over their situation. Um, but I don't think even though even though I'm not I'm I'm not totally removing that as a factor. Again, the bigger picture is that these were both domestic violent relationships and that stimulus check situation was the, the thing that they could use as an excuse to, you know, just go full force with their with their tactics. So you don't believe that some people can just be desperate? Where this not, it don't have nothing to do with domestic violence. I I they won't find money. They, they said that first person was she dealt with domestic violence for a while. Okay. The first yeah. one we talked about that. We okay, seen. within that instance, but the one who took the gas can to burn down everything. I you don't be that. I mean, what what do you gain from that? Like, so I guess, this, but but I think to Tony's point, not saying I agree or if he agrees that, you know, him. When people believe that uh, someone is the the reason why I'm not able to eat or my survivability, I'm desperate. Uh, you know, they holding my money because of child support and all these different things. I mean, you know, like Tone said, it might just be, you know, I'm hey, I'm desperate. You need to give me half this money. I got to eat. There's things going on with me, and you're partly the reason why this is happening. Right. Sorry. But then but then that would lend itself to it being a crime of 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 passion and in my in my thinking, like you're so upset, like you're because you're explaining what, what they would call like a volcano type reaction. Like I'm so upset that now I have to erupt. But Negro, you had time to get in your car and go to your mama in law house and set her car on fire. That took thought. That took that took time that took you know so so that whole notion well, of i know. was just so desperate that you just pushed me over the edge no, no. See, see, i want you to tell me what is the exact time frame that you're in the state of psychosis you're saying that it's only a certain amount of time because you could be in that state well, Come no, on. we're not talking. We're talking about rage. I'm not talking about psychosis. If this man was schizophrenic, well, and, 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 for you and, to do and, that. Well, said it again. But you could just be in something called the flesh. 
which being everything, <laughs> we all have it. Every see, here's the thing: I think that we go down the wrong road when we diagnose everything accordingly to what we believe. Some doctor did an experiment on a thousand people and say, "Yeah, this is everybody." You got a flesh. You got a nature. You got a. You got something inside you that that. Oh well, I don't even want to go because I don't want to make this like it's a biblical situation. But I mean, I mean, I can play into that where God just totally hate that part of you that that He wants you. I mean, so what I'm saying is, is that you can diagnose it, give it a name, but it's the flesh. It's a kernelly minded thinker. So my thing is, is that you have people out there that rob you just. They'll rob you. They don't know you. They go, hey, listen, it just it happened. If I know you and know you had the money, it makes it even that more so that I'm coming over here to get the money from you because I know you have it and I need it. You see what I mean? And I can so, overpower yeah, and you. And I can so overpower you and take it right. And I, oh, I can hustle you out of it. You do have people who just got that mindset. It don't have to necessarily be diagnosed as, okay, you this. No, 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 no. Uh, forget that. But I think the murders, Tone, I think that's why I went there because there's a certain level of sadisticness to what, to how far he took it. Um, you're right. We're all of flesh. I, I don't disagree, you know, but, but, but what, what is, what's going on with you that you would take it to that damn degree? Like, you could have been mad. You could have broke a couple of stuff things. You could have, you know, been on your way. But you murdered, left one crime scene, then tried to do uh, uh, yeah. something else at another totally different. Ooh, he, was, like, he was crazy. Like uh, some was going on, and we and I would like to think that unlike the the I don't want to say normal. I don't want to say that, but unlike someone who doesn't suffer from some of these mental health type conditions. I would like to think that there is something going on that would separate just the average Joe from acting out in that way than someone who goes to such sadistic means of retaliation and 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 anger. You know, I, I would like to think that there's something quite not right with somebody who would do that than just the average Joe Blow getting mad because they didn't get a stimulus check. Okay, well, let me tell you about this guy I knew, right? I knew this guy. I can't say his name. He he had a great upbringing, you know. He had a great upbringing. Uh, uh, parents was well off. Uh, well, not well. They did good. They did pretty good, right? He went to prison. He went to prison, and I think he did a whole lot of. He did a lot of time. He came home, went to a party. His that his uh, I think it was that his uh, his niece or cousin had. And they were having problems within the party. I guess these got this one particular guy was doing something at the party, and he happened to be there. So he stepped in to, I guess, defend the cousin, grabbed the guy, took him outside, tied his hands up behind a tree, and beat him to death. Just got out of prison. Beat him to death. Because of what he did with a bat and went back to prison. I mean, this guy wasn't even out a week. He wasn't even out a week. So what am I saying? Sometimes we can do things. We we just take them too far. We take is a chain of events, a scene of events. It happens this way. So now this happens. So now I'm in this mode. I already know I'm about to be in trouble. So I'm about to finish this thing off. So you know what? Let me do this now because I know that doesn't happen. I probably I'm hit now. So I'm gonna finish this off because I know once they come and get me, I'm gone. So I might as well just do all the things I wanted to do in the first place to all these people that I wanted to do because I'm, I'm too far gone now. I I already know that's an arson that I could do time for that. So hey, I might as well finish this off. So I guess my thing is is that you just got crazy people out here. They they just start from one cycle and bills and bills and bills mm -hmm. and they just I mean Explode. why do people do what they do? It's a lot. I don't think that we can define everybody out here that there's a title in a book somewhere to say oh no this is yes, why this person doing it. Is well I mean 
to me, I say it's just plain old sin, and it's the you know this 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 rooted up in you. <laughs> you know what I mean? But but my thing is is that you have crazy people out here. They they crazy. They they not thinking rationally. They or, or or they so far gone oh. in that situation. Like I still go back to saying that I think Kurt Franklin was so far gone. Well, now you know I just happen to be recording it because you got me. And you pull and see, men are different. Men is men don't like to be challenged by other men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all like got a respect them. thing going yeah, on. Yeah, that I have to fight that out. Here, here's the other piece of that. Mm -hmm. They certainly don't want to be challenged by a son mm -hmm. that's thirty something years of age. No, oh, yeah, that's I mean, probably yeah, like what it's, you call Marvin Gaye. Yeah, uh, he father, shot and he ended up killing him. And killed him. Yeah, so my thing is, is that you know. I know we pulling away, but I guess my thing is, is to this situation, mm -hmm. this stimulus, I mean, it's, like, it's money involved. I, 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 I ain't don't know. It's, it's, I don't know when I'm gonna see some money right now. Mm -hmm. I'm out here struggling out here in these streets. You got the money, and 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 then I feel like you trying to like R W three say stop this, where you could just help me out. So now I'm just tired now, and now I take everything out on you. The struggle of life itself. So it probably the you know? way that it was approached, because some men, you know, maybe he had this attitude like you gonna give me half instead of coming and say, "Hey, do you mind, you know, or helping me or or, or even her started. saying, I'm gonna come to you, I want to help you. What do you need? You know, whatever. But it was it probably was in the approaches and things of that nature. That's what I believe. I don't so know. So do you believe that it could have? It could have started off nice because I, I know I want to pull something from you. I'm not going to just say, give me some money. Maybe I'm going to approach it. And maybe he felt that if he did come from that level, hey, you know, you know, I need to get some things. And, you know, I know you got some money and you think you can look out. And maybe she could have came up when well, you, you ain't been around here. Uh, uh No, no. My child, you didn't go and boom, boom, child. boom. You and they you say, know. you know, what? what? What you say to me? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm coming over there. You so, see, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, it could have been a those lot things of that factors. can actually really truly happen in mm -hmm. in in any relationship. And he know he wasn't taking care of the child, but what if he was? We don't know that now because of what he did. You get what I mean? We would never know because how this event happened and he just, he could have dealt with it in a better way where now it just is, it is exploded in his face. So now he just going, you know what? I ain't like Susie either. Let me go and burn her car down. <laughs> oh, I remember what, what, what Doug did to me. So let me go on over there and deal with him too. Cause see, I know they're coming to get me already. So I might well just go ahead and clean this up. You see what I mean? And, and get everybody. And it started with just one thing, because I needed some money. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I needed some money. And a chain of events have had chains, a chain of events, scene of events have taken place because of that one thing uh, he didn't have under control. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to make fun of it. I don't, but I mean. But yeah, I mean, I just, I, again, I, and I guess I I do I, I I do understand like you say RW3's point where if the person feels like you know you're the cause of their misery, <laughs> then they they lower their inhibitions in terms of causing harm to you because they feel like you're causing harm to them. But um, I, I think that it speaks to another point about you know the the, the, the space that society is in where you know, people are so desperate, if that's the word you want to use, that they're willing to kill over, you know, $1,400. Like, are we, are we, you know, these are, these are like, um, the, like the, the, the symptoms of a deeper rooted, mm -hmm. you know, uh, cancer within American society. society. But, I mean, people, but people kill like you, I mean, even to that and, you all probably can relate to this. Either we've experienced it ourselves or we've seen it. People, it's not even, the, I don't think it's the amount. Some people have principles that they'll kill over. Like, yeah. Tom, you might have been back in the day and, you know, you some shooting dice and somebody be like, dog, you know, I caught that. I didn't. Well, you calling me a liar? No money involved. And yeah. they fight or stab each other. I mean, right. people have principles that are not necessarily connected to, quote unquote, the value. 
Chief says just the principle of it. Like Tone, maybe, I mean, he might be in a different place now, but him and our lady B, if he's out and somebody like walking by and grab her arm or something, ain't hurt her or nothing. Tone might just bam, slap her. You know, the principle, you had don't touch my wife. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And it's really not, she wasn't hurt. She'd be like, Tone, I'm not hurt or nothing. It's the principle. Some people, based on principle, they getting at people. Yeah, and that's true. Cause remember, I don't know if y'all remember in Detroit where that that young boy. Do y'all remember that back in? It was not that. It's probably about. Well, it's been a little minute now. The boy he took, I think it was fifty dollars, dropped out of the man's on the ground, and a little boy picked it up and put it in his pocket. So they took the little boy. He killed the boy for that. Yeah. My man killed that little boy for that. Put him in his car. He was about 15. Mm -hmm. Threw him in a, you remember that? Yeah, and he remember killed that, that boy over 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. I, and I'm going to be honest. I want to say $5. Right? Yeah. I think it was 50. <laughs> I'm going to just give him. I think it was 50 bucks. I want to say $5, but I'm not really sure. But took that boy life because of 50, mm -hmm. because of that. And, and I mean. Yeah, that's true about the principle because people would kill you know, kill a husband or a wife would kill a husband or a husband kill a wife just because they have having issues or whatever. It don't have to be really so much about money. It could just be the littlest thing. So yeah, most definitely. I mean, where are we as so, a people? Yeah. Does that show how much help we need in mm, our communities mm. in terms of even, yeah. I know we deal with the mental health. I get yeah. that, but I'm saying even finances. Does that show you how hard up we are as a people but our own people, and I don't know if it's going to make the news of someone white or, uh, uh, oh, now I digress, but I do want to, I want to talk about this, guys. This right here has been bothering me. And I, I want to say this now. What do we think about these oh, the Korean, Asian. the Asian people? Now, <laughs> now here's the thing, right? Uh, no, and, and and it's not just they're not uh, they saying all people right you're coming after these people blacks whites whatever but in our community how many times have you heard or seen movies that stereotype uh black people as saying that Asians be following them in the store, telling them uh, must buy, must buy, why are you, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, make fun of it, but how many times have we have said that these people yeah. look at us in a race, in, yeah. in a racist uh, 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 position to say that we, you know what I mean, that we, we steal because we black, black. you know, in our store, I can give you so many a uh, mm -hmm. uh, scenario or people who own Lee's Beauty Supply Store. Yeah, this might be good to talk about. Yeah, that would be a good stuff. Yeah, of, of, of people who said they worked there and they were treated terribly. They were treated terribly because of who they are. And and now they're making this big thing about it where, and I'm not saying, listen, racism is bad or whatever. Being board. being hated or hate crimes yeah. are terrible, period. Yes. Nobody's saying it is not. But don't make it seem like all of a sudden that black people mm -hmm. were stepping up and stepping on uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Asian people. That's not the, they've been racist against black folks for years and it never made the news. Never. They never talked about this. In your leads, y'all know who y'all are. Mm -hmm. in, in some of these communities where they black, you know what I'm saying? Black Beauty community. Who, who, what do you see when you see Nail the black shops. community? Who do you, who is the, well, listen, who do you see they always putting up more than anything, if you see a plaza come up, first thing you see is what beauty supply, beauty supply store, and nails, and nails. uh, dollar store, you, huh? Chinese food. Dollar store, your dollar, dollar store. store. That's what you see. They come to those communities and and they want to do business, but, but those black, trust the black yeah, people. or the black people feel like that they're not treating them right. Yeah, the, and they come into the business to to, to buy. Their yeah, and they looking at. Them. They've made they're movies. They've them. made movies of this. Yeah. They. I only hope that you know that through all of these trials that we're going through, that ultimately there's a better America at the end of the tunnel because mm. it, it, you know every race that is here has gone through some type of oppression by the mainstream um, culture uh, and uh, race. Mm -hmm. Every. And, and so it's easy to 
um, get in the weeds and blame each other because when we're fighting, guess what? Somebody else is benefiting from us losing focus on the real issue. And I think that, you know, hopefully it will create empathy and we will see that as we interact, you know, with each other um, by understanding that we all have gone through a little bit of the same thing. We all got something in common here, (laughs) y'all. You know, so I I do hope that at the, I don't know how long it's going to take or if we'll ever get there, but this whole us versus them, it's like, you know, we, we're, we're, we all hold spaces of privilege and we all have implicit bias and we all, you know what I'm saying? Um, particularly people of color have gone through some level of oppression. So let's, let's grow some empathy for each other's struggle and, and deal with each other on a, on a more sophisticated level. Mm-hmm. And I guess a uh, 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 lovely T summed that up. Oh mm-hmm. uh, well, guys, we yes. we're going to end it because, like I said, we don't want to run them that long so that we can go ahead and post this. Uh, guys, mm-hmm. uh, we still want you to like and subscribe yes. uh, uh, to our YouTube page. Uh, this is going to mm-hmm. go live, and maybe we need to make that a discussion coming up uh, about what's going on. Maybe we should be able to get somebody of that descent. If we can find somebody yeah, in the I'm Asian uh, uh, who want to come on, who 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 got yes. the guts to come on yes. and want to talk, not so that we can go against them, yeah. but that we can get an understanding so you can see both sides of it. And now that is happening to you, that it should be out here in the public saying, "Oh, we shouldn't be going against them." It's been don't. Well, Moby T, you think your ex boyfriend he'll want to come on? Because her ex boyfriend yeah. opened up the shop. So just let us know. You might be able to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you know, cute. you got to see. I am not, I'm not stooping to, to uh, RW3's level, y'all. So I'm going to just. That's right. <laughs> Oh, well, guys, oh, listen, yes. we, we wound it up, guys. Yes. We, we we thank you for watching. We're going to have more interesting conversation and more heated conversations, yeah. but at the same time, not so heated conversations. Yeah. Some fun conversations. There's oh, a lot definitely. of stuff that we could talk about out here. Maybe we'll get into artists and talking about this thing yeah. that's going on in the industry or whatever, and what do you think about the things that's going on? We're, we're going to play it out. We're going to get into some more uh, uh, trending topics, Most but definitely. some things that's actually just going on in our, our own communities you know that mm-hmm. we're faced with every day mm-hmm. uh, uh but guys listen we would love for you to love like su- subscribe love to this day. page uh love we want to make this podcast the best that we can uh, uh, uh so that we can uh, uh hey listen be the voice for you if you would like That's us right. to anyway right <laughs> we'd like to be the voice for you uh, uh like and subscribe we would like you to share uh this page uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh go to our again our facebook our youtube our instagram and i can break this video down so that you guys can see it now on instagram uh, uh and we'll talk mm-hmm. we'll get down to that yes. later but guys Lovely listen day. do we have any Lovely last minute day. things to say Lovely any last day. minute any last minute things uh, guys? Uh, about anything we're doing in the community uh uh, I don't know, RW3, uh, is anything you got going on or anything we got going on that we want to talk about now? And let Well, I want to talk about, um, I, I have an upcoming um, a movie that I've been um, working on with my cast. It's an um, Audible movie called the Audible Screenplay. So I'm going to be having a premiere night. Um, I'm looking in, in May. So um, just stay tuned. I'm going to have all the information ready for everybody to come and join us on that premiere night by zoom that's right and and guys uh i think we forget to put up that mm-hmm. ann arbor situation we got to still try to flow yeah i've been putting it up, up on our page yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah we need to kind of uh, like uh, we're gonna up. we're gonna i'm gonna get a little bit more information so we can kind of like yeah. constantly keep that up where people look in the ann arbor situation yeah, where it's going on with the uh the women of women workers yeah. they call them. Yeah, women. Yeah, I believe that's the women workers one. or something yeah. that's going on in the Washington. Sex workers was sex, it sex, sex, yeah, workers. sex workers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, that's going on, and they trying to they well it sound like it's being legalized, or at least the uh, prosecutor saying he's not going to arrest uh, Johns that come into that community yeah. uh, uh, and to solicit sex. Uh, he's not arresting them, and uh, should he be held accountable, guys? Yeah, going- yeah, they, it's the it's the world we. Um, they did a um Twitter um 
what was a Twitter storm. They did that on March the 18th. And, I, and um, we had put that up on our already yeah. on our Facebook. So, Is there yeah. any way that there any site that they can go to to learn more about what's going on? That you know, oh, of? yeah. Uh, let's see here. They can, uh, let's see what we got. Um, do, 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 do. um what is that right here? That's just some hashtags. We got visit at world w e u s on Instagram and Twitter. Okay, so that's at world w e u s. Yeah, you could check that out and and, and make sure you we, we're going to make sure we be more prepared next week so that we can put these links up there because I just threw that out there because I want you guys to be informed so you'll know what's yes. going on in that Washington County, Washington yeah, County area. Uh, because he needs to be held accountable if this guy is doing what they say he's doing well, in terms of not prosecuting uh, of those Johns is coming into that community. Uh, 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 it could be called, it can cause a whole lot of things to happen with sex trafficking or anything else. Just that, that low down uh, uh, lifestyle. That, you know, who want a pervert in their community? around their kids. I mean, come on, mm, flat out. Right. You know what I mean? Nobody wants a pervert mm. to be, uh, that could be your community where you see condoms or in, on the curb or in the grass or in the bushes or whatever because of what he allowing to happen. That's, I mean, that's crazy if yeah. it's in an area of families. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, well, you know, as long so as you got people like RW3 patronages, uh, patroning uh, <laughs> uh, 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 strip clubs oh yeah oh, and start wow. there and then go out yeah. in the street Woo. Wow. <laughs> wow that was a horror right there on those three He's, you know what we we've, we've learned on that Tone, Tone, you know in detroit when you pull up at the gas station they be approaching you you yeah. be like gone gone <laughs> that's her so you just have to just like don't pay uh -huh. attention to it man one, two, three strikes. We out. Wow, lovely. That's day. right, guys. Have a lovely, lovely day. day.